Hello, Crew Education, and welcome what is to day up? 82. Andrew, we're still in the 80s. We are in the early 80s. It's the early <laughs> 80s. What year were you born? 87. 87. That's yeah. a good year. You were what? 85? 85. Um, but enough about us. Today we have a special guest that is in the room, but he doesn't even know he that he's is. coming up. It's Isaac Tate, everybody. Welcome, Isaac Tate. Mr. Isaac. You're going to have to give him a little bit of room. No, I don't. Oh, oh I'm just kidding. <laughs> I didn't know where we were going with this. Oh, I'm sorry. That Isaac was not is an intern at the Southern Hills, comma, Church at City Station. Yes. Here, where communication is in filmed sun. and produced. Yeah, oh, yeah. Whoa, taking Andrew's spot. Yeah. Wow. And uh, an intern's role is to learn about the church, how ministry is done, to grow personally. And I thought it would be good for you, Corinication, to get to know Isaac. So, in uh, 10 words, describe yourself. I am named Isaac Tate, and I am alive now. I'm glad he added that now in, because yes. you never know what could happen. Uh, Andrew, like if you were going to describe yourself in 10 words, what would you say? I am the best coronation. Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> Careful! <laughs> I gave you a little bit of stall time there. Um, partner. Oh, there you go, there you go. Involved. Yeah. Coronation videos. Boom. All right, so enough about us. Isaac, um, you're an intern, but like, how old are you? Tell them more stuff. You can I... use as many words as you want. Okay. Oh, I thought we were using our age. Like 10. It's not 10. I'm just kidding. He's almost taller than me. It was a joke <laughs> towards me, too. Okay, I get it. Hi, you're old. <laughs> I am 16. I'm going to be a junior at Bremen High School. Uh, I can drive now. He has a car. That's a big deal. Yeah. Have you been pulled over by the cops yet? I haven't, but I had one follow me very closely yesterday on the way. Were you speeding? I was not speeding. Safety I first. Slower. It's because he added that now. Mm -hmm. He's alive. He's He's now. alive now. <laughs> yeah, you were worried about that drive home, weren't I you? I was. Okay. So uh, you have your license um, and you're interning. What do you do for fun? Uh, I watch movies and watch football and play football. I don't play on an actual team, but I like to just throw the football and stuff. Okay. Isaac has a podcast. I do have a podcast. For those of you watching at home, a podcast is like an <laughs> audio thing that you can listen to. Listen to. He talks about sports. Uh, he interviews people. He talks about the who's gospel. the most famous person you've interviewed on your podcast? Matthew Hicks. Matthew Hicks. Matthew Jameson Hicks? Yes. Yes, that's awesome. What episode was that? Episode 5. Nice. So let's see, you podcast in your free time. Um, where's the furthest you've driven? I have driven in Maryland. Oh, nice. Hey, if, if, you know, we had some people that wanted to get you your favorite candy, what would you do? It would be milk chocolate and then uh, I think it would be probably Twix that you'd share with me. Or maybe Reese's share with Andrew. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Or milk chocolate M&Ms? Yeah. Okay. It's pretty bland. Just, just saying. Um, so, what do you hope to learn in this um, internship that Coronacation might be able to like help you with or maybe even uh, give some insight to anything you want to learn? I would like to learn more about the way that ministry works virtually and on like since we're doing coronation now on like videos rather than meeting in the actual church building so i'm excited to learn about that we'll sit back and take notes because me and corey are the best at coronation we are the best at coronation because so. We're the only <laughs> coronation that we're aware of. We might not even be That's the true. Best. We might not even be in the top ten. <laughs> How crazy would that be? All right. Uh, well, um, why don't you send them off with some very deep and Ooh. wise words from a 16-year-old who has no plan of coming on today's except for we just said, "Come on up here. We want to talk." I am ready for this. This is gonna uh... be the best wise words ever. I'm ready too. Yeah, we're waiting. Should we take notes? I well, okay. it'll be. We'll, we can go back and watch. Okay. Wash your hands. Ooh. How long? Uh, 20 seconds. 
Can you show us what 20 seconds is like? Sure. Let's start. <laughs> Ready? Is there like some, a song that we could sing? Uh, like, you can sing your ABCs. Ooh. Well, that's 26. He interlocked the fingers. That's a good that, technique. That is good. That is good. Um, happy birthday twice. You could do that. Row, row, row your boat. Um, we wish you a Merry Christmas. Mm. I'm just naming songs I don't actually know. <laughs> and done. Oh, oh, we got a rinse. Yeah, right. <laughs> he doesn't know how to rinse. Just leave him rinse. soapy, guys. Just oh. leave him soapy. And now they're all wet. Dry oh. oh, that's fun. But now they're per they're right. That's my cough shoulder, too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you got to wash them again. We'll wait. <laughs> so while Isaac's washing his hands today, we are going to... That was you dump the soap on the sink. you got to put your other hand on... That's the floor. <laughs> He doesn't understand. We're gonna have a couple of different videos today, and then Andrew, we're gonna challenge you to a game that is a focus game, because focus is our oh. theme. You're gonna have to really hone in, but I do wanna offer this one challenge for you. Okay. When you're doing it, there's gonna be a countdown. Okay. I want you to wait until the very, you contaminated them again! <laughs> Wash again, Isaac. This time, get a hand drying thing. Uh -huh. Wait until the last second before you say it, so that they have an the opportunity very last second. to like. I, I realize that they might beat you, but if you say it in like te second eight, then they're not gonna have an I opportunity. Got I got so um, I want a fair fight here. That's basically what I'm saying. So what you're saying? You just said it, that you think I'm gonna beat them. I, that's the that's what I. Heard. You're on a streak. Now, Isaac, you're just gonna let your hands air no, dry? No, I, I got the towel and right eh, I didn't see you throw the towel away. I just thought you... He's close. Missed. He's into sports, but not imaginary basketball. Yes. Alright, thank you, Isaac. Thank you, Coronation. See you next time. Tomorrow. In this life, there are all types of things that can happen to us. Different situations we can be in, different feelings we can have. In fact, some things happen that make us happy. This yellow piece of rope will help us think of those times that maybe good things happen in our life that do make us happy. You know, sometimes things happen that make us a little bit angry. The red one could help us think of those times that, you know, maybe something happened that we didn't like and it does make us just a little bit angry. You know, sometimes things happen that make us happy, sometimes things happen that make us angry, and even there are some experiences that can make us a bit sad. Maybe something happened that we didn't expect or that we did not want to happen. You know, the incredible thing is that through all of these things, we can know that we have a promise. In fact, Jesus is our promise. His promise is that no matter if we face things that make us sad, angry, or happy, He will always be right there with us. You see, Jesus is the promise that we can hold on to, that we can know that no matter what we face in this life, He will work everything together in the best way it possibly could. So hold on to the one true promise, and of course, always know that Jesus is our promise. I love the truth of Romans 8, 28. That tells us that in all things, God works for the good of those who love Him, who have been called according to His purpose. It's encouraging to know that even when a lot of crazy things are happening in the world around us and we don't understand how it's gonna all come together, that God is still in control and He works all things together for His good so I hope you have put your love and your trust in Jesus and that you have found your hope in Him. All right, Andrew, this game is called Focus Fruit. I have 10 videos for you to focus in on. The video is going to slowly bring into focus and then there's gonna be a countdown. Let's see if you can guess what fruit there is on the screen. Play along with Andrew at home out of the 10 videos. How many do you think you can get right? Hmm? How many? Eight, nine, one? I hope it's a whole lot. This is called Focus Fruit. Let's play. I'm gonna get all of them right. You know this. Huh. Okay. Let's see. What is that? Heart? No. Oh, hey. what is it? What is it? Heart's not a fruit. Why did I guess that? Um, apple. One, got it. Hmm. What in the world is that? Oh, it looks like a.
spider monkey. But it's not a fruit, so it banana. Yes, yes, that's two. Okay, here we go. All right, what else we got? What? What is that? Oh, I know. I know, but I'm gonna give you time to guess. Three, two, an avocado. Boom. All right. I'm a pro at this game. I think I'm a pro, guys. Whoa, until this one. Uh-oh. What in the world? What is this? What is that? It looks like mountains at first. I'm gonna go with blueberries? Oh, got it. I've gotten all of them right. I think it's four. Let's see. What is that? Let's see what co Oh, there's a couple different colors there. What is that? Strawberries or peaches, strawberries or peaches, strawberries or peaches, peaches, peaches. Oh, I was wrong. It was cherries. Oh, that was a that was a good one, Corey. That was good. Okay, what do we got here? Let's see. Oh, I think I know. Coronation. Do you know? Huh? Do you know? Three, two, one, limes. Is it limes? Yes, limes. Like, I'm right all the time. So there are limes in time. I'm right all the time. Mmm. What is this? Looks like a ball. Ooh. The red throws it off. Is it an... Is it a lime or an orange? Lime. I think it's a lime. Uh, I think it's an orange. I'm still not so sure which that one was. An orange or a lime. Or I mean a lemon. I think I said lime and I meant lemon. Oh, I think I know this one. I definitely know this one. This is like one of my favorite fruits. Especially when they're dipped in chocolate. Oh, so good. I'm going to say that this one is a strawberry. Mm, yes, I love to go strawberry picking with my family. All right, let's see. How many more we got? How many more we got? Okay. It's coming into focus. What is this? Huh. Oh, I think I know now. Um, I think like to eat them on hamburgers. I'm gonna go with tomatoes. Got it. Tomatoes. All right, looks like we've got another one. Hmm, something green. Is it, we already had that. Oh, oh, the line, I see the lines now in, in the fruit. Levi really likes to eat this. I think that it's watermelon. Got it. We're supposed to be planting some watermelon. We haven't done it yet. That is it. That's it. I think I only missed one. The orange or the lemon. I'm not so sure. I might have said lime on that, but my brain was thinking lemon because we had the lime before. I don't know. Anyway, curious to see how you guys did, but let's be real. You know I beat you. I beat you guys. Well, I will see you tomorrow.